What's up, guys? My name is Tomás. Welcome back to another video. And today, here back on F1 Fantasy to do the Spanish Grand Prix recap. And uh, I gotta say, it was an absolutely great weekend for my fantasy teams because for the first time, I didn't have any negative points. So it was a very, very good weekend. And uh, yeah, let's see um, how you guys did as well on my fantasy league. I just wanted to thank you to you all for joining to my fantasy league. I really appreciate that. If you didn't join, make sure you join. The link is going to be on the description with the code as well. But uh, yeah, further we do, let's see how I did. So let's go to my first team. I did a good amount of points. Okay, let's go to the history. A good amount of, a good amount of points, 172. And uh, yeah, I chose Raikkonen, Grosjean, Hamilton, Kvyat and Magnussen. Um, I chose, I think, in all teams, both our as drivers, if not uh, just one, because Haas was looking very good during this weekend. And uh, yeah, I thought Raikkonen could be a little bit better, but uh, yeah, this weekend he, he wasn't that competitive. Um, I think he qualified, let's see, yes, he just reached 2K2. I was expecting Raikkonen to reach uh, 2K3, like he used to be in these last uh, few races, uh, last few weekends. Um, but uh, yeah, um, he unfortunately finished out of the points because I think he ran wide and, um, at lap 1 and uh, he found himself onto the grass so it wasn't a very strong weekend for Kimi but uh, yeah Grosjean um, just 5 points I, I decided to turbo Grosjean but uh, yeah um, it wasn't a good idea at all because he lost uh, the top 10 um, so yeah it was a little bit unfortunate it could be a little bit better maybe I could I could turbo Magnussen here but uh, yeah unfortunately it's just um, 10 points yeah it could be a little better but then Hamilton yeah P2 on qualifying but then he won the race so it was a very good choice and then Mercedes um, yeah I think is the obvious choice I think Mercedes is the is the best choice now I think uh, um, yeah just one two one twos in qualifying in, in the race so um, yeah, I think Mercedes is a viable option. And then, uh, yeah, Danny Kvyat, I think I said, um, he did a very good weekend. So my first team, it was a very good weekend, like I said, uh, 172. And now let's go to my second team. Um, so yeah, Grosjean once again, uh, like I said, I put uh, um, in all my teams as driver. So here's Grosjean, then uh, Kvyatza. Um, he, yeah, he finished the race, he reached Q1, but uh, yeah, lost one position, unfortunately. So yeah, I decided to put one Williams because um, the money w m uh, money was missing. So as you can see, the budget is very, very tight. So um, yeah, I decided to to choose uh, Kvitsa. And then uh, Kvyat once again, because uh, yeah, the Tom Russell showed uh, really strong this weekend. Um, it was almost a double point finish and then both Mercedes drivers and yeah that really paid off with Hamilton with 62 um, 63 sorry and then Valtteri Bottas with 47 then we had Ferrari with just 42 and uh, yeah I gotta say uh, Ferrari this season needs to forget they were nowhere near um, in the race so um, yeah let's go to my third team and uh, yeah the amount was 156 so this is which was my my worst teams just to see and it was a nice amount of points so this was my best team, the, my, the, my third team, 185, so um, yeah, I think it's the highest score that I had in uh, all my um, F1 fantasy um, history, um, counting with the last year when it was released. So yeah, Leclerc with the 35, uh, Hamilton, Albon, um, Bottas and Kvyat, so yeah, very good performances for these drivers. Uh, like I said, Albon could have a little bit um, more points because uh, he had... Uh, um, he finished in P11, so yeah, he could finish on the points and get some extra points. I think uh, you get some extra points if uh, your driver finishes on the top 10. So, um, but yeah, choosing these top three drivers, uh, yeah, maybe I could choose here Verstappen, but I think Verstappen is more expensive. So, and uh, yeah, Toro, so it, it was uh, a great amount of points. Maybe I could choose Has, but um, in terms of budget, I think I was. Uh, um, a little bit tight, uh, let's see, if I remove Toro Rosso, I'm with 12-9, so maybe I can choose 12-9, uh, yeah, the maximum I can choose is Renault, um, and uh, yeah, I could choose Haas, so yeah, Haas could be, could have been uh, a great option, so yeah, it could be um, a, little bit, li a little bit better, maybe I will choose, I will replace um, Toro Rosso to Haas, I'm maybe um, that's the thing that I'm going to do so I think it was a mistake to shoot Toro so but in the nutshell my weekend was very good so let's see how you guys did in my fantasy league um, just wanted to thank you to you all 
um, for joining. Um, really appreciate that. So, um, yeah, let's see um, the best of this weekend. So, we have McLaren in first with 201. So, yeah, choose Verstappen. And, uh, yeah, Jesus, Verstappen with more points than Bottas. Oh, really? O okay, that's interesting. Because Verstappen finished behind Bottas um, in the qualifying in the race. So, what gave more points to Max? Maybe... Maybe it was Bottas that lost uh, the position already in the race. Yeah, positions lost, minus two. So, yeah, maybe it was that. And, uh, yeah, Carlos Sainz, yeah, maybe it was the best turbo driver. I think it was best of the rest. I'm not entirely sure um, now the results of the race. But we're going to see the stats of this the, of this weekend. Then Magnussen and Leclerc and then McLaren with 17. So, yeah, very interesting choice. And I don't see... Many people choosing McRa McLaren in the, during the weekend, so yeah, it was very interesting. So congratulations to you. Uh, I think your name was Miguel. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, let's see for Ferrari Fefe mission. Oh, okay, I'll, I I really like your name. So uh, let's see how Frederico um, did. So yeah, Danica Viat Bottas Raikkonen. Yeah, it's about Raikkonen. Um, Leclerc signs and Mercedes with 70. And uh, yeah, maybe to. To, um, you could get a better result with the by turbo signs, but uh, yeah, it's it's very good. So um, yeah, I'll take that and uh, yeah, congratulations to you. you. Were the second best of my of my fantasy league. So now let's see. Regardless, racing. Let's see how Alexander um, did. Okay, didn't choose Alban. So yeah, that's uh, okay. Move on, move on. I don't know what I'm talking. So Leclerc, Magnussen. Yeah, Magnussen was a very good turbo. I think. Yeah, 18. Okay, it's the same amount of points as uh, um, as Carlos Sainz, sorry. And then Verstappen and Bottas, and then it shows has, uh, like I said, um, he has had more points than Tor Rosso, um, plus seven. So yeah, maybe I could choose has, but uh, yeah, it, it's good like this. And now let's see the overall. Um, who's leading right now is Scuderia Porsche. Yeah, I think uh, he's on the lead for quite quite uh, quite a few rounds, like uh, two or three. I'm not entirely sure. And this weekend wasn't very good for him because it shows Norris, and Norris will was out of the race with that incident with uh, with um, Lance Stroll, and then uh, yeah, um, Raikkonen, Vettel with the 42. So Vettel um, did a great amount of points. So yeah, I'm, I'm impressed to be honest. And then uh, yeah, Russell with uh, uh, 11. Wow. Okay. Um, okay, he beat his teammate and gained some positions. Okay, maybe that's the reason. So. Um, yeah, maybe I'm going to choose Russell because uh, yeah, he's constantly beating Kubica, so yeah, maybe it was a mistake to choose Kubica. But um, but uh, yeah, Valtteri Bottas with 47, and then Ferrari. Um, yeah, he keeps choosing Ferrari, and uh, yeah, um, but uh, it wasn't a very good weekend for him. 147. So let's see the risky for the biscuit. Uh, he was the first leader of this uh, league. Um, um, yeah, in in the first uh, two rounds. So yeah, we have Perez, Bottas, Raikkonen. Gasly as a turbo, but uh, uh, Magnussen was a better turbo plus two, and then uh, Lando Norris, Mercedes, and then and that gave 156. So yeah, I'm beating the guys, and um, they are in the first places overall. So yeah, I can be happy. And then uh, we're going to see Perez F1 team, and uh, yeah, um, uh, 158. So yeah, the, um, almost the same of his rival. So um, yeah, Leclerc, Raikkonen, Giovinazzi. Um, Verstappen, Russell. Let's see what Giovinazzi did. I'm, I'm kind of curious. So, uh, okay, finish the race and gain some positions. Uh, yeah, and Q1 results. So, um, yeah, Giovinazzi um, not performing well um, in real life. So, let's see what he can do. He has, he has to start to show some results. So, now we, let's going to see um, in the global league. So, um, the best team, the best team. So, we're going. It, it was Lozo F. SF90 so with the 232 so it was I th it was the best result in the whole world so yeah it was signed to happen Magnussen I think Magnussen was the best turbo and uh, yeah Kvyat and Bottas and then Mercedes so with, uh, uh, um, I think it was the best choice to have um, overall um, during this weekend so, so so let's see overall who's leading in the whole world is Power Gerlachik Gerlach Garlic. Okay, sorry for your name. So let's see. Um, Bottas, Verstappen, um, Raikkonen, um, Russell, Sainz, and Mercedes. So yeah, very good choice. Very regular. A good amount of points. Bank 210. 
and uh, yeah now let's see the verified ones like I used to see so um, yeah let's see how Pat Simmons did so um, yeah Ricardo, um, Raikkonen, Sainz, Hamilton, Russell and uh, Mercedes so yeah uh, Ricardo was a turbo driver with the 24 oh wow okay I, I wasn't expecting because uh, Renault was nowhere near on the pace in during this weekend so yeah the 10th place and uh, uh, yeah he gained some position I think he finished in P12 or something like that so and uh, yeah um, okay I'm impressed for the Ricardo um, for choosing Ricardo because Ricardo is not a very very viable option especially for a turbo driver because minus 13 minus 5 okay 19 in the Chinese Grand Prix minus 11 and then 12 so um, yeah to be honest Ricardo is not a very good choice but uh, yeah um, props to you Pat, Pat and uh, now let's see Ross Braun so oh okay he chose uh, Norris so it was um, it wasn't very good to choose Norris but and uh, yeah that really didn't pay off 133 so um, yeah that was um, Ross Braun's choice let's see DC um, okay Albon yeah Albon was a little bit unfortunate I was expecting more points to be honest uh, because Torosso was very strong like I said then Leclerc, Bottas, Raikkonen, Magnussen and then Ferrari so um, yeah nice choice from DC but uh, yeah not very good let's see um, Tommy WTF1 so um, yeah um, what's again choosing so yeah some people choosing Norris so um, that's interesting to be honest so um, yeah choosing Norris so um, yeah he didn't finish and uh, yeah that really penalized um, the point and yeah it was minus 11 so um, yeah um, now let's see I have my favorite youtuber and one for 159 so yeah it's okay more or less okay and uh, yeah Reckon and Vettel yeah these top drivers maybe could turbo uh, Magnussen to get an extra two points and uh, yeah Alfa Romeo with nine points um, he could choose another team apart from Alfa Romeo to be honest um, but uh, yeah that was RF's team so now let's see um, Rods Medley um, yeah Hamilton Gasly um, Kvyat and uh, yeah Ricardo with 12 points so yeah um, like I said I'm very impressed with uh, Ricardo Kvita so yeah maybe could choose Russell here um, to get a uh, plus 10 and then Ferrari um, as his team and uh, yeah 165 so um, yeah I'm for the moment I'm beating all the verified ones so now let's see uh, X Mari G and uh, yeah I beat everyone um, that is verified so uh, this is was a great weekend so it was my best weekend in all um, F1 fantasy history so Leclerc Ricardo um, Kvyat Grosjean yeah with five points and uh, yeah Bottas and Ferrari so that was the um, everyone that uh, I want to show you so yeah um, I beat uh, a lot of people so I'm very happy but uh, in terms of Global League I'm still way down the order so uh, what I'm going to do now is that we're going to see the best ones the stats of this weekend so here we are on the summary so um, yeah the top performing drivers were Hamilton Verstappen uh, yeah all from the, the the top five on the race so yeah it was kind of expected and um, there's a huge gap between Hamilton and Verstappen so um, yeah that's interesting um, I was expecting to Bottas being second not in first being being second but with a more close gap for example like 55 or 59 for example so yeah the top performing constructors yeah um, it was Mercedes without a doubt and uh, yeah as you can see I think uh, it compensates more it's better to choose the top three team because look at the gap between Ferrari and Renault that was the best team of the rest um, I got impressed because Renault was absolutely nowhere near um, they were they weren't on the pace this weekend it was a weekend for forget no points but look at Renault um, 19 and then Ferrari with 42 so I think it's better to choose the top three team um, in my um, just a piece of advice to you so yeah um, a lot of people broke Perez um, to their teams it was the most um, driver to transfer to their teams and then Bottas as well and then Norris, Sainz and Raikkonen so um, yeah a lot of it was very unfortunate um, Norris because a lot of people brought a negative drive point um, negative um, points dri driver so um, yeah it was very unfortunate but uh, yeah in a nutshell um, people making uh, nice choices but um, most people, um, the people that remove, 
um, were Ricardo and Hulkenberg, so a lot of people removed the Renault drivers, especially Ricardo with the 18%, so yeah, that's impressive. Um, but uh, yeah, they scored 12 12, so yeah, it wasn't a good choice to remove the, the Renaults, and that's for me as well because I don't like to choose Renault, so and uh, yeah, a lot of people brought Mercedes, I think that's obvious, and then uh, yeah, a lot of people to um, uh, remove Ferrari, so yeah, that's obvious as well because Mercedes, um, yeah, it's that team that uh, um, is going to dominate the season, it's going to be like 2014 or 2015 or 2016, so. Um, yeah, I think it's better to choose Mercedes and maybe I'm going to choose, I'm going to use uh, um, soon my white card so um, to remove everything and uh, yeah, maybe I'm going to put Mercedes in all my teams. I'm not entirely sure, but uh, maybe I'm going to put, uh, um, I just have Mercedes in one team, maybe I'm going to put in another team to have two teams with a Mercedes car. So um, let's see now the best country. So it was Denmark, so it was Magnussen's house and then the Netherlands, Spain. Finland and Russia, and, and Russia. So, and then uh, yeah, the the average points by constructors were Mercedes. So yeah, Mercedes really strong, not just in the real life, but in the fantasy stuff. So um, yeah, and a lot of people chose Ricardo. So Ricardo was the the most removed driver, but it was the most popular double driver. So that's that's interesting to be honest. And uh, yeah, Raikkonen, Gasly, Magnussen, and Norris. But I think the best um, it was Magnussen. So. And uh, yeah, not many people cho chose Magnussen, just 7%. So, um, in terms of wild cards, um, I was talking about, um, it was uh, an average weekend for the Spanish Grand Prix. So, um, yeah, so I think uh, in terms of uh, fantasy, F1 fantasy, it's all for this weekend. So, yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoy, scratch and if new to see more um, F1 fantasy. I love to make these videos. And if you didn't join to my to my fantasy league make sure you join um, the, the, um, the link is going to be under the description but here is the code if you want to to write so yeah well like I said fa um, thank you to all that joined to my fantasy league I, I, uh, I absolutely like to make these videos because I think it's a good way to interact with you guys and if you guys like it sure that I'm going to do more but uh, yeah like I said thank you so much for watching but now it's time to say goodbye my name is Marsh and I'll see you guys next time